Shepard is surviving the, mob, the biography of former Gambino crime family associate Andrew DiDonato, also on our panel, which will hit store shelves already this back in December, so we're late. Dennis is co-host of the popular blog talk radio show Crime Wire and serves as a consultant to the Vegas Mob Tour. He is an active member of the Henderson's Writers Group, Public Safety Writers Association, and Sisters in Crime. Dennis Griffin, welcome to Vegas Unwrapped. I kind of read it the way you wrote it, I think. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. You didn't know all that about you, I did didn't you? Know. Oh. Actually, I think Faith wrote it, didn't you? He that boy. He was a Boy Scout. Uh, well, I don't know. So, boy Scout cookies? Uh, I don't know. Okay. To his right. <laughs> Dennis Arnoldy. You got it. Right? Excellent. Pretty close. See, it's still... Okay. Pretty close. Began his 26-year career as an FBI special agent in 1971. After stints in El Paso and Little Rock, he was assigned to the Las Vegas field office in August of 1980. What a special time to be in Vegas. His, <laughs> 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 arrival, his arrival coincided with the law's heightened efforts to rid Sin City streets and casinos of the influence and corruption of organized crime. He became the case against, he became the case against for the Tony Spalaccio investigations in Las Vegas. On July 4, 1981, Dennis headed, Dennis headed the arrest team that apprehended a crew of professional thieves and killers as they burglarized Berthers Gifts, and Home Furnishings on East Sahara Avenue. These arrests and their aftermath represented a turning point in the law's battle against the mobsters. Dennis is currently a private investigator in Las Vegas. Cash, you better change your name. He also serves on the board of directors of the FBI Citizens Academy. Dennis, welcome to Vegas Unwrapped. Now I feel safe. Now I feel safe. Right. Well, correction, I'm not, no longer on the board of directors of the uh, Citizens Academy. All right, once again, I'll update the bio. Well, okay. let's see. <laughs> All right, it's last but certainly not least, of course, the no. gentleman on the end, Craig Vincent. Craig, Craig Vincent was born and raised in upstate New York. At the age of 19, he was visiting Las Vegas during college spring break when he was discovered by a talent agent and hired as a background performer in a movie being shot at Caesar's Palace starring Omar Sharif and Victoria Principal. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you know? She was hot. How did you know? Yeah. You kidding me? I, I did everything I could to stay on that. You couldn't talk her into getting you on Dallas? Oh, man. This was pre-Dallas. Yeah, he would have shot. He would have shot right before Dallas. Yeah. Wow. 